The Atlanta Falcons are just one of 12 teams to never win a Super Bowl in franchise history. Of their 57 seasons in the NFL, they have only been in the Super Bowl twice. In their most recent Super Bowl appearance, they are known for having one of the greatest Super Bowl fails ever. But in today's video, we are going to be adding one NFL superstar to the Atlanta Falcons until they win their first ever Super Bowl. Our first season went better than expected, finishing with a 9-8 record but missing out on a playoff spot. The Falcons started Desmond Ritter at quarterback in his rookie season who ended up winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. The Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Washington Commanders in the Super Bowl where Patrick Mahomes won Super Bowl MVP. After every season, we are going to take one NFL superstar by spinning this wheel of NFL team. The first wheel spin lands on the Kansas City Chiefs and we have a tough choice to make here. Do we pick Patrick Mahomes or Travis Kelsey? I really want to see what Desmond Ritter can do in his second full season in the NFL, but I think it would be a really big mistake not going with the best QB in Madden, Patrick Mahomes. He's a 99 overall superstar X-Factor with really great stats. He's got 98 throw power, 99 awareness, 84 speed, which will definitely help. I think Patrick Mahomes and Kyle Pitts are going to do really well together. Here's a look at our offense going into year number two. We got Drake London at wide receiver, Kyle Pitts, Patrick Mahomes, and Cordero Patterson. And on defense, we have 89 overall superstar AJ Terrell at cornerback number one, and we have Grady Jarrett at an 87 overall. Through the midseason, we are only two and four, which is not a great record, especially with Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. So far, Patrick Mahomes has thrown for 1,735 yards with nine touchdowns and four interceptions. The Falcons finished year two with the worst record going 7 and 10 unfortunately. However, we did finish with the 18th best offense and 19th in defensive yards. The San Francisco 49ers defeated the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl where Nick Bosa won Super Bowl MVP. Unfortunately, no Falcons finished in their yearly award where Josh Allen won MVP of the NFL. After a very unsuccessful year number two, the Falcons drafted a 75 overall center and they also drafted the son of Hall of Famer Marvin Harrison Sr. who's a 71 overall hidden dev trait wide receiver that will definitely help the team. To make this a little bit more difficult, we will be alternating between one offensive superstar and one defensive superstar from the wheel spin. Spinning the wheel of NFL teams and it lands on Jacksonville. Some defensive options we can choose from are Josh Allen, who is by far their best defensive weapon. They also have Tyson Campbell at cornerback, or we can take a chance on their new rookie, Trayvon Walker. I decided to go with Josh Allen because I think he would make the best impact on our defense. This is a lineup we are rocking for year number three, and I'm starting to like the look of the offense quite a bit. Mahomes has three targets in Kyle Pitts, Drake London, and Marvin Harrison Jr. And the defense has quite a bit of holes still in it, but we did shore up our linebacking core with Josh Allen there. AJ Terrell stepping up to a 90 overall as CB1. Through seven games, the Falcons lead the NFC South with a 5-2 record where they lost to the Bucks and the Broncos so far. Patrick Mahomes and the offense are third in the entire NFL, which is a great start for them. Advancing to the playoffs to see if the Falcons made a playoff spot, and they did. They secured a wild card spot, and they have a date with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady is still playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Years. He's 47 years old and he's an 82 rated. But somehow he finished at the top of the NFL in passing yards. 5,616 and 43 passing touchdowns. Unfortunately, 47-year-old Tom Brady and the Bucks defeated the Falcons 32 to 11 and knocking us out of the playoffs. The Buffalo Bills won their first ever Super Bowl, defeating the Packers, and quarterback Josh Allen won Super Bowl MVP. Marvin Harrison Jr. led the voting in Offensive Rookie of the Year. However, Caleb Williams ended up winning the award. Spinning the wheel to pick our next offensive superstar, and it's going to be a player from the Minnesota Vikings. We have some great choices here. We can go with Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, or TJ Hawkinson. Let's add another superstar wide receiver for Patrick Mahomes and the Atlanta Falcons. He's a 99 overall, a superstar, and he is six foot one. The Falcons ended up finishing with a 10 and seven record and now have a wild card matchup against the Dallas Cowboys. Patrick Mahomes had an incredible season with the Falcons, throwing for over 5,000 yards and 36 touchdowns. For a playoff matchup against the Cowboys, we are gonna sim through this game where the Falcons are playing pretty well here. It's still 0-0, and it looks like the Falcons get on the board for with a Kyle Pitts touchdown. Seven to nothing. Moments later, Zeke gets the Cowboys on the board, tying the game up really, really fast. And just before halftime, the Falcons strike again, going up 20 to 14. The game ended up going to overtime where the Cowboys scored a late field goal to win the game and ending the Falcons season. The Cowboys went on to win the 2025 Super Bowl where Dak Prescott won Super Bowl MVP. After four seasons, the Falcons have yet to win a playoff round. Let's spin this wheel to see if we could add a defensive superstar that'll put us over the top. The Green Bay Packers. The Packers 
have two really good defensive options. We can go with lockdown corner Jair Alexander, or we could go with Rashawn Gary, who is one of the best linebackers in the NFL. The Falcons can use another lockdown corner since we just picked up Josh Allen at linebacker a few seasons ago. The offense heading into season number five is looking pretty good. The Holmes is still a 99 overall with his offensive weapons being even better than last season. Justin Jefferson at a 99 overall, Kyle Pitts is now up to a 97 overall, and Drake London at an 85 overall. The old line is also looking pretty solid. I would love to add another running back to the team since Tony Algier hasn't really progressed like I hope. The Falcons secondary definitely got a lot better with Jair Alexander at 97 and AJ Terrell at 93 overall. Again, we are missing some key pieces on the D line, but hopefully we can have another successful season. The team is now up to an 86 overall, 89 offense, and an 84 defense. Through the midseason, the Falcons have a 4-3 and three record. They have lost three games to the Cardinals, Bucks, and Panthers, but are now on a three-game win streak. The Falcons have the 12th best offense in the NFL, but they are towards the bottom of the NFL in defensive stats. And to my surprise, the Falcons ended up missing out on a playoff spot, finishing their season 9-8. and eight. The Las Vegas Raiders ended up winning the Super Bowl, defeating the New York Giants, and Dak Prescott won MVP of the NFL. Spinning the wheel as we head into our sixth season, it lands on the Cleveland Browns, and this one is a no-brainer for me. We added Nick Chubb as our running back number one. He's a 95 overall superstar development. He is going to help us quite a bit. He is 31 years old, though. The rest of the offense hasn't really changed too much other than Nick Chubb at running back. But on defense, we were able to draft an 80 overall middle linebacker, which definitely improves our defense. Before we advance to the midseason, I have decided to raise the ante. If we end up being the number one seed in the NFC, I will give myself an additional wheel spin. But if we fail to win the NFC, NFC, then I'll have to forfeit our wheel spin for next season. Through seven games, the Atlanta Falcons are three and four with our hope at an additional wheel spin looking very unlikely. On a more positive note, the Atlanta Falcons have the number one offense in the NFL and Patrick Mahomes leads the NFL in passing yards. After advancing all the way to the playoff, the Falcons finished 12 and five. But is that good enough to win the NFC? And it was, the Atlanta Falcons had the number one seed and they have a first round bye. So that means we get an additional wheel spin if we don't win the Super Bowl this year. After sending through the first two rounds, the Falcons beat the Bucks 42 to 24, and the Falcons ended up beating the Eagles 28 to 21. Taking on the Colts in our first Super Bowl appearance, the Falcons were able to strike first with a 27 yard rush from Nick Chubb. The first half was pretty uneventful, but the Falcons lead 10 to nine. The game is tied at 17 in the fourth quarter, and Jonathan Taylor gives the Colts a late lead. Luckily, Nick Chubb strikes again, tying the game. Down seven with no timeouts left. The Colts ended up defeating the Falcons 31 to 24 in the Super Bowl. After that devastating loss to the Colts in the Super Bowl, news got worse for the Falcons. Nick Chubb and Grady Jarrett retire, which leaves holes in our offense and defense heading into season seven. We do, however, have two wheel spins. Their first one being the Buffalo Bills, and then the second wheel spin is going to be the Houston Texans. For our defensive superstar, we could go with either Greg Russo or Tremaine Edmonds, but since we lost Grady Jarrett, we are going with Greg Russo. He's a 98 overall superstar X-Factor. Offensive hero from the Texans is either Damian Pierce or Caleb Williams. Since we already have Patrick Mahomes at quarterback, we are going with Damian Pierce. He's a 97 overall running back. The Falcons offense is looking very good with Patrick Mahomes, Damian Pierce, Jefferson, Pitts, and a great O-line. On defense, we added one of the best Ed rushers in the NFL at the moment in Greg Russo. The secondary is still looking strong and our linebacking core is looking pretty solid as well. The Falcons finished the season with a 14 and three record, which was the best in the entire NFL. And the Falcons had the best offense in the entire NFL as well. The Falcons were able to defeat the Commanders in the divisional round 38 to 13. And then in the NFC Championship game, they defeated the Cowboys 35 to 32. And now head into a Super Bowl matchup against Joe Burrow and the Bengals. The Bengals have an incredible offense as Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Robinson, and T. Higgins. Their defense is not as good as their offense, but they are going to give us a good challenge. Heading into our Super Bowl matchup, and this is going to be a tough one. The Bengals had an early lead going up 7 to nothing, but the Falcons came back quick with a one-yard touchdown run from Damian Pierce. This game quickly started getting away from the Falcons as the Bengals led 35 to 17 at halftime. The Falcons finally got a stop on defense and were able to cut the lead down to 11 thanks to a 26-yard rush from Damian Pierce. Down 14 in the fourth quarter, it did not look great for Mahomes and the Falcons. Luckily, Kyle Pitts found the end zone to cut the lead down to 7. The defense came up big once again and the Bengals were able to get down the 
the field and tie the game with no time left on the clock. After the Falcons got a big stop in overtime, they were able to move down the field and thanks to a penalty, were able to kick a game-winning field goal. After adding seven NFL superstars, the Atlanta Falcons won their first ever Super Bowl. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out where I added one NFL superstar to the Carolina Panthers until they won the Super Bowl.